Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you Cubase's 2.7 and everything you need to know about this new update. Let's jump right into it. The first thing I want to show you is really exciting and it's the brand new Microlog ARP that you can get as an in-app purchase. This fully featured arpeggiator allows you to create amazing pulsating sequences, chord patterns, and beautiful melodic phrases. So when you get the ARP in-app purchase, you will find your arpeggiator right here. And here you can start editing your arpeggios. So let me show you. I have a very simple bass right here. And I will turn on the ARP. And the way it works is you can activate your steps right here. You can change the length of each step, the velocity of each step, and the pitch. So for example, I can transpose this to plus three semitones. And of course, you can also edit the velocities. And one little tip, if you activate the velocity sensitivity for your filter envelope, then you will get some really nice dynamic arpeggios. So the lower the velocity, the darker the tone, and then you can open the filter like this. So this is extremely cool, especially if you want to create animating phrases, really, really dynamic sounds. We also have different modes for the arpeggiator. With step mode, it basically takes into account the step sequencer right here. Then we have the chord mode that allows you to trigger chords with the arpeggiator. And of course, this works with the chords right here with the chord pads. And then, of course, we have the standard modes, the up, down, up, down one, up, down two, down, up one, down, up two, random two, and random. So it's really, really cool if you start experimenting with those different modes. They will all give you a very different result in the end. Then we have the octave knob that allows you to change octaves really, really quickly so you don't have to scroll up and down the keyboard. And then we have quite a few new features like trigger mode, key mode, loop on off, hold mode will allow the arpeggiator to keep playing even if you lift the key. And then you can do your changes. Tempo scale. Swing. And gate scale. Now the great thing is that if you create an arpeggio that you really like and you want to copy it to another instance of Microlog, you can just copy steps and then paste your steps into a different instance. And we also have a legato option for every step that allows you to create a legato transition between the two different steps. Let me show you. So this allows you to build some really nice and fluid synth bass lines. You also get more than 75 R presets that you can use straight out of the box to inspire you. These are nicely organized in the instrument browser. All you need to do is click on the instrument browser and click on R presets. So let's play a few of them.
so much fun. In Cubase's 2.7, we've also added 95 brand new effect presets that help you get a polished sound on your tracks with a single button tap. You can use those presets as they are, or you can take them as starting points and tweak them to fit your material. So let me show you some of those new presets. Let's start with this drum loop. And let's add a compressor and the new preset called Tight and Heavy Kit. Now a studio EQ with a preset called British Mix. And a reverb with a new preset called Plateau. Cubase is a very powerful standalone music production environment, but it also offers impressive control for users that want to use it with external hardware MIDI gear, such as hardware synthesizers. Now you can easily reroute incoming MIDI to different channels for output to core MIDI apps or hardware. So let me show you a quick example of what you can do with the new MIDI through capabilities in Cubase's 2.7. In this project, I'm using Cubase's 2.7 with the Yamaha Modi X hardware synthesizer. The Modi X is a multi-timbral hardware synthesizer and I'm using Cubase's to control all the sounds from the Modi X. So let me show you how it works. I have these four channels right here, and these are MIDI channels. And on channel number one, I'm receiving from MIDI channel one. I'm sending this channel to the Modi X port one, channel one. On channel two, I'm sending it to the Modi X port one, channel two. On three, on MIDI channel three, on four, MIDI channel four, and so on and so forth. So now I can control all the sounds from the Modi X through my Cubases. Let's hit play. So now I can actually perform while Cubases sends all the necessary MIDI information to my hardware synthesizer. So with version 2.7, Cubases becomes a very powerful sequencer for your hardware synths as well. The audio unit MIDI plugin slot have also been expanded. Now you can have up to three MIDI plugin slots active at the same time, which means you can combine different plugins to achieve really creative effects. If you want to give your mixes a final polish, now Cubases offers the mix down normalize function to help you bring your tracks to the perfect level. Another very cool feature I want to show you is the keyboard transpose setting. This allows you to transpose the onboard keyboard and external keyboards up to two octaves in both directions. This is great if you want to play a piece in a key that's particularly complex or hard to play. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say I have this song and it's written in A flat minor. So I would normally have to play like this, but maybe I want to simplify it and play it in A minor instead. So what I can do is change the semitones go one semitone down, and now... And of course this works for external keyboards, but also for the onboard keyboard. It's a very convenient feature to have. The MIDI editor in Cubase's 2.7 has been improved and now has an extended range ranging from C-2 to G8. We also have updates for the audio bus library and the Elastic Pro algorithm to ensure that Cubases is always up to date with the latest standards for mobile music making. 
Cubasis provides excellent usability, ease of use, and lightning fast operation on all supported iPad devices. Cubasis 2.7 also offers native resolution support for the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch and 12.9 inch models. So there you go, these are the new features in Cubasis 2.7. Hope this update helps you create some great music, have fun with it, and we'll see you in the next one.